Hello and welcome to this video on how to obtain a probability plot for a logistic regression analysis in the M Plus software. My name is Christian Geiser. On this channel, I present weekly statistics tutorials, usually related to multivariate statistical methods such as structural equation modeling or latent class analysis. If this is something that interests you, then please subscribe to this channel. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and to check out the description for additional resources. In this video, I want to show you how you can generate a probability plot for a logistic regression analysis in the M Plus software. This is something that I find very useful when running logistic regression analysis because oftentimes it's a little bit tricky to wrap your mind around odds and odds ratio results and logistic regression um, coefficients which don't have an interpretation that is so terribly intuitive in my opinion not like when you have a linear regression model where you work with the regular scale of your dependent variable here you work with um, on an odds uh, or you work with odds and odds ratios and so or log odds which is um, even more confusing and so um, a probability plot, so to say, puts the results of a logistic regression analysis into a metric that we find more intuitive, where you can interpret then the probabilities of belonging to a certain category on the dependent variable for different values of your predictor variable or covariate. And so this is something that MPLUS generates with the plot option. And I want to show you here how this works. So in this case, I have a logistic regression of a latent class variable. So this is a latent class uh, model with a covariate. I have um, other videos on this channel here where I discuss that in more detail how to run latent class analysis and also latent class analysis with covariate. So here I want to focus on this probability plot and the probability plot is something that you could get also for a conventional logistic regression analysis with only observed variables. So when they, you don't have latent class variables but only measured variables and you run a logistic regression, you could also obtain this with the same plot option in M plus. So here you can see I have a class model with three latent classes and I'm regressing my classes on H. So the question here is to so say are the latent classes, um, are there any age differences in class assignment? Latent classes or latent class variable is a categorical latent variable where the categories are unordered in this case. So those are different types of people and so we want to know um, are those different types of people different with regard to their age distribution? And so in this case, those types represent computer game players that have a preference for different types of computer games. You can see here, those are the indicators in the latent class model, the um, action, logic, skill, and simulation games. And so there are different types of players who prefer different types of games. And so with this logistic regression analysis, I can now look at whether there's a relationship between class membership and age. And so this plot option here, plot type equals plot three, allows me to obtain the said probability plot for a logistic regression analysis. Now I already ran this model here and so this is already the output. And so when you run your logistic regression with um, the plot option, then in the output window, you can just simply click on plot and then view plots. And then the last option here is uh, given as estimated probabilities for a categorical latent variable as a function of its covariates. And so there's a similar option when you have no latent classes, but a categorical dependent variable that says um, pr estimated probabilities or estimated conditional probabilities as a function of covariates or something like that. And so you would find a similar option there under select a plot to view in this option. Then you click on view and then you can pick the covariate of your choice. In this case, it's um, there's only one, age is my predictor. And so here you can select the range of values that you want to look at. The default is the minimum to maximum value and that's what we're gonna go with. We could also pick uh, different levels of standard deviation ranges, negative one standard deviation to plus one standard deviation around the mean or more. And then um, here you can select under steps, 
you can select um, the values of the independent variable so just in units of one or other units and then at the bottom you get some information about your uh, independent variable the mean of age here was about uh, 16 and a half years and then standard deviation was 2.35 minimum age was 10 maximum age was 20. okay let's click on okay and then you get your plot here and you can see that on the y-axis you have the probability from 0 to 0.8 in this case and then on the um, x-axis you have the values of age which begin at 10 and end at 20 so that was the observed age range here in this sample and you can see the latent classes so the categor categories of the um, nominal dependent variable they are given here as the um, curves as these lines where class 1 is one where the probability of membership decreases with increasing age and the same for class 3 the green class here also shows a pattern where uh, the probability of belonging to this class is relatively high at young ages and then declines very substantially towards um, adulthood and for class 2 it's the exact opposite pattern where the probability initially is very low and then um, it increases to a high probability so those were different types of computer games for example the probability of playing action games and simulation games um, was declining rapidly as a function of age whereas um, uh, skill games, logic and skill games, the probability here increased over time for, uh, of um, children or young adults playing these types of games. And there was a very, very strong age effect. So there was a high um, odds ratio and a strong coefficient for the logistic regression slopes here for this relationship. And so in this probability plot, we can see why we can very easily see so see in terms of probabilities across the age range why there was such a strong relationship here now another nice feature um, of this m plus plot option is that we can save the data for all of those values so if you for example wanted to um, present those values in a table or have them for your records or if you feel like this plot isn't so nice to present in a presentation or a, a paper, then you could make your own graph based on those values. And so this works by clicking here on plot. And then first of all, you can of course save the plot. If you like it, you could save it as a JPEG, for example, as a picture file. But many times we would say, well, this plot isn't so pretty. Let's maybe make a nicer graph ourselves. And so then you could go to save plot data. And with save plot data, you can save those um, plot values and then you could take a look at them by opening the plot data file which is a simple text file and so here you can see that in the first column you have your age values from age 10 years to age 20 years and for each year of age you have the estimated probability for each class so the first or here the second column gives the probabilities for class one the third column gives the probabilities for class two and the fourth column gives the probabilities for class three and so then you have the exact values you could plot them yourselves or you could put them in a table if you wanted to and so that is um, nice, a nice feature that you can very easily extract the data from the plot and then use them for something else. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, then please hit the like button. Don't forget to check out the description um, for this video for additional free workshops and other resources and subscribe to this channel so you get your weekly statistics tutorial. And also, if you like, you can leave a comment in the comment section and I'll see you next week.